Dr. Wolf, can you please give a concrete, not academic or theoretical explanation of how you would apply your employee-run business model to a McDonald's, Walmart, a hospital, or J.P. Morgan Chase? Well, the answer is best given not as a hypothetical, but to describe an enterprise which is large, like all of those are, uh, which has done this. There is a film called Shift Change about yes, the cooperative course. efforts, and we'll provide a link to that. Well, the example I'm going to give is a company in Spain. Uh, it's called Mondragon, the Mondragon Cooperative Corporation. Uh, and a little history may interest folks. It was started in the middle of the 1950s by a Catholic priest in the north of Spain in the Basque area, just south of the Pyrenees Mountains. It was a time of terrible privation in Spain after the World War II and the Spanish Civil War. There was terrible unemployment in this area, and the Catholic priest decided that one way to deal with unemployment was not to wait for a capitalist employer to come in and hire people, but to set up cooperatives. And he began with six parishioners in his Roman Catholic Church to start a co-op. Okay, this is 1956. Let's fast forward to 2013. That corporation now has over 100,000 employees. It has been a success story of gargantuan proportions. It is a family of co-ops within this large corporation. In most of these co-ops, the workers make the decisions of how this cooperative works. So let me give you an idea of how successful they've been. They partner with Microsoft and General Motors in their research labs because Microsoft and General Motors want to tap into their creative way of running a business. They have a rule that nobody can get more than six times what the lowest paid worker in an enterprise gets. The typical situation in a major American corporation is that the top executives get three or four hundred times what their lowest paid worker does. So they have solved the equality problem in a dramatic way for 120 roughly thousand people. Uh, there's a concrete example of how you can make a cooperative, democratically run enterprise successful, growing, and becoming a powerful community force. Uh, there is a, a Arismendi, the name of that priest in, in Spain. There's the Arismendi bakeries, six of them in the Bay Area, that are all run as cooperatives. And they run it as a worker-directed enterprise. They've been very successful. Their commitment, number one, is not profit. Their commitment, number one, is not growth. Their commitment, number one, is to their people.